Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the shortcut formula to determine the sample variance and the sand sample standard deviation. So I'm going to take this formula right here, and I'm going to break this down into steps. And the first step that I need or I'm going to do is to sum up the data points to find Xi. Notice that Xi is right here. So that's the step that I'm going to do. So we're going to do the sum of Xi and we're going to add our um, numbers up here. So we have 5, 9, 9, 11, 13, 19, 19, and 25. So what I'm going to do is down here beside it, I'm going to write the sum of Xi. So I know that that's what that represents. I'm just summing up all my data points. And when I sum those up, I will get 110. So now I have figured out uh, what Xi is, and it equals 110. Then in step two, I'm going to square the results to determine x i squared and I meant to put the sum because we've summed it. Now we're going to take the sum and we're going to square it. And that's going to give us xi squared. So when we sum 110 squared, we're going to get 12,100. And that represents the sum of xi squared. So all I have done is I've taken the sum of, of the data points, added them up, and squared it. And now I know that xi squared is equal to 110, I mean is equal to 12,100. Okay, for the next uh, step, step three, square each value of xi to determine x squared i. So we're going to square each value of the x so we can get x squared. And really the i, you can just ignore that and just say x squared. Um, 13 squared. And then 19 squared. And then 25 squared. So we have determined x squared for each value. And then step four says to sum up the values of x squared i. So the each value here is x squared. So sum these up, and that's going to give us the sum of x squared. So when you sum those up, I believe I got 1,824. So step one, we added the data points, your x values, and got 110. So that's the sum of x. 
but we needed the sum of x and then square that sum. So that's how we got the 12,100. And then we had to take each individual value, square it first, and then add it. Now we are ready for the last step. And this is step five. which is plug into formula. So let's do that. So we're looking for, we're looking for S squared, which is your variance. And we're gonna plug in everything we just found. <clears throat> so the first thing we see in our formula is we want the sum of the x squares to go first. So we know the sum of the x squares is the 1,824. Then it says we want the sum of x in parentheses where we summed it first and then squared it. So that would be the 12,100. And then over n, n is the number of data points that we have. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 data points. So we're going to divide by 8. And then that's going to be all over 8 minus 1. So... When you do 12,100 divided by 8, you get 15, 12.5 divided by 7. So when you get, subtract that and then divide by 7, you will get 44.5. And then to get the standard deviation, all you have to do is take the square root of the variance. So S is going to equal 44.5. And if you take the square root of 44.5, and I may have rounded to the nearest uh, hundredths, but my variance is 44.5. And my standard deviation is 6.67. .6 so follow the five steps, um, plug it into the formula, and let me know if you have any questions.